What's up guys, it's King Josh back with another video and today I'm bringing you guys a video on my new slasher build So before the video starts make sure to drop a like and let's get right into the video So on this build I am 99 overall So I do get a plus 4 to all my attributes and with that plus 4 I do have a 94 driving layup 98 driving dunk which is amazing especially with slasher takeover a 67 mid-range and 53 three-pointer I could actually shoot threes lights out from the corner for the most part I do miss here and there but I do green a lot of my threes and mid-ranges 67 is perfect for mid-range i do have an 89 post fade i don't really take post fades that much but it's definitely there if i need it 79 pass accuracy which is pretty good on a slasher 70 ball control which i do get at 99 overall so before 99 overall this build can't dribble as well unless you want to lower your wingspan and get 70 ball control right off the rip but i wanted to max my wingspan as you guys will see later in the video for my defense i have 81 interior defense 72 perimeter defense i actually wanted to be able to guard big men and guards on this build I do have a 64 lateral quickness, which isn't the best, but clamps definitely helps with that. I do have that badge on gold, and then I have an 82 block, and my rebounding is 78 and 80. Even though this build is a pure archetype, I can dunk, I can finish inside really well, I could shoot pretty well, only from the corner really. I don't try to shoot from the wings because it's not that good of a shot, especially with a little three-pointer, but I can shoot from the corners just fine with the 53 three-pointer. I can dribble on this build and I could guard the one through the five. Looking at the finishing badges, I do have 17 and you're probably thinking that's nothing for a slasher, but on finishing builds, you don't even need 30. 30 is way too many. You only really need between 15 and 20, so I chose 17. I think that's a perfect number. And with those badges, I decided to use Contact Finisher Hall of Fame. My gold badges are Acrobat, Giant Slayer, and Slithery Finisher. And then my bronze badges are Lob City Finisher, Fancy Footwork, Putback Boss, and Relentless Finisher. All these badges are really good. You don't really need Putback Boss. I just have that because it's a badge more for fun. Looking at the shooting badges, for sure you guys are going to want Quick Draw Gold and Hot 100 Gold. Hot 100 helps so much with my releases on this build. And then Catch and Shoot and Corner Specialist, the thing about those badges is they're very good gold. But on players with lower threes, they're better bronze or silver. So I do have Catch and Shoot Bronze at all times. And then I either run Corner Specialist Silver and Green Machine Bronze or just Corner Specialist Gold and I take off green machine but i think i'm gonna stick with this badge setup because bronze badges are actually pretty useful so i'd rather corner specialist just take it down from gold to silver and try green machine out for the playmaking badges you are for sure gonna want quick first step gold that's easily the best playmaking badge then for handles for days it's better gold but it's definitely workable silver so i just keep mine on silver just so i can try out a bunch of other badges if you want to put it to gold i would just take off lob city passer that's probably the most useless of the bronze badges i have but it is a good badge i think it's worth it to have handles for days silver unless you dribble a lot put that gold but other than that, I do have Bronze, Unpluckable, Space Creator, and Bailout. And if you guys don't know this already, Bailout, I think it's one of the best Bronze badges in the game. You definitely want it Bronze on every single build you make. Now going on to the defensive badges, I actually don't use Box, even though I made this build to guard bigs, because I feel like Pogo Stick is good for defense. And then if I do end up playing good defense, somebody takes a bad shot on me, I'm already in position to get the board, so I don't really need a box out. But then if my guy's not the one shooting, I just have Rebound Chaser. And if I do have good box out position, they're not really gonna get the ball unless they have Worm on. So I don't use box, I just use Rebound Chaser Bronze. Then I use Rim Protector Bronze, Intimidator Silver, Pogo Stick Silver, Chase on Arch Bronze, and Clamps Gold. And don't get me wrong, Box is a really good badge, but I only have 10 defensive badges, which is kind of rough, especially when I'm running the big, because I don't just need defensive badges, I also need rebounding. So if I'm running the two on this build, if I'm not running the big, it's fine, but it's kind of rough not having Box but I can definitely do without it. Now going on to my animations, if you guys haven't already watched my jump shot video, I do use Michael Beasley. Then for my free throw, I use Kobe Bryant. Dribble pull up Steph Curry, it's actually really fast and really good. For my spin jumper, I use normal three. If you guys don't know, that's actually Kevin Durant's spin jumper. Hop jumper, I use normal 21. I think that's easily the best one in the game. And if you try out normal 21 and you don't like it, I would suggest using normal 14. That one's also really good. Then for my post fade, I use post fade three. That one's also easily the best one in the game. For post hook, I use post hook three. For post hop shot, I use post hop shot one. If you don't like that one, I would try out seven, eight, and 10. Those are also good ones, but I think one is the best in the game. And then shimmy fade and shimmy hook, I don't really think those matter, but I do use number three. Going on to the dribble animations, I do use Paul George for my dribble style. I think I'm only able to use Paul George and Kawhi because I am a small forward, so I do use Paul George. For the size of package, I use Steph Curry. Kobe Bryant's also a good one, but I do like Steph Curry better. For moving crossover, I use Pro 2. Moving behind the back, I use Pro 3. 
moving spin basic one is actually really good surprisingly even though it's a basic spin then i use moving hesitation pro one and triple threat style wba2 which kind of sounds weird but i feel like the animations you get out of this triple threat style makes it easier to get people on jab steps or any moves out of the triple threat for my layup package i use long athlete it is the best layup package for hop steps because hop steps are pretty overpowered in this game so if you do hop steps i would use this layup package then for my dunks i have athletic 360s front windmills windmills off one windmill reverses leaning windmills leaning slams clutch reverses off one straight arm tomahawks sidearm tomahawks and baseline reverses off one and these last three dunk packages you see here the straight arm tomahawk sidearm tomahawk and baseline reverses off one i think those are the best three dunk packages in the game to not get blocked and all the other ones that i have above that they're pretty much just for flashy dunks but the ones at the bottom the last three that you guys see right here these are probably the best three dunk packages in the game at least in my opinion and if your dunk is a little bit lower also front clutches are really good and quick drops off one those are two other dunk packages that do not get blocked as much also here are my alley-oop and contact dunk packages i have all the alley-oop packages the pro and elite and then i have every contact dunk package except for the big man contact dunks if you guys decide that you want to make this build yourself, you are going to want to go with a small forward. You can go with a shooting guard and be fine if you want to be 6'7". I'm actually 6'8 on this build, but if you want to make this build just like mine, you do want to go with a small forward. Then for the skill breakdown pie chart, you do want to go with the top one, the pure finishing one. When it comes to physical profile, it's really about preference. As you can see, this top one gives you 84 speed, 79 acceleration, and 77 vertical. It is really good, but I actually chose the fourth one. If you go down by three, it lowers your speed by four, lowers your acceleration by three, but your vertical goes up by 13, and I feel like vertical is really important on a slasher, especially for getting contact dunks or just for getting good dunk animations. So I went with the fourth one. You can choose the first one if you want. It's really up to you. But first, we are going to start by upgrading the shooting. Just max out the shooting. And then you can lower your free throw by one or your post fade, whatever you want. I decided with the free throw because I play park a lot more than pro-am. For the playmaking, you want to max out your ball handle and then just put your pass accuracy up until you have nine playmaking badges. For your defense, I maxed out everything all the way. And then I put the steal up just by one to get 10 defensive badges. Then going back to the finishing, I maxed out the driving layup, maxed out the driving dunk. Maxed out the standing dunk and then kept taking away one from the standing dunk and put it to the close shot just so I can get 17 finishing badges instead of 16. I think this badge layout is perfect having 17, 10, 9, and 10. For the body shape, it doesn't matter what you choose. I think Define looks the best. For the height, I went with 6 foot 8. You can go with 6 foot 7 and be fine. If you don't want to guard bigs, you can lower your interior defense and put that to your steal. Also, if you don't want to be able to guard bigs, you do want to go minimum weight so your acceleration and your vertical goes up. But because I want to be able to guard bigs and guards on this build, I put my weight all the way up. You can go 259 or 260. It doesn't really matter. And then for the wingspan, you want to max that. You can put it down if you really want to but I don't even think it puts your three up by that much. So I'm gonna take a hit on my three. It just goes down a tiny bit. Then my steel goes way up. My defense gets a lot better. As you can see, yeah, if you put it down, it only goes up by one. So I think it's worth it to go max wingspan because if you guys did not know this, if you do have max wingspan, it's easier to get contact dunks. It doesn't even put up your driving dunk, but it's easier to get contact dunks. Your player can reach the rim from further. And then when it comes to takeover, Personally, I would go slasher or playmaker. I wouldn't even consider the other two, but I went with slasher. Slasher is perfect for this build. It is a pure slasher after all. So yeah, you guys could choose whatever takeover you want, but I went with slasher and that's gonna be it for the video. Let me know if you guys enjoyed. If you guys end up making this build, let me know and I can give you guys some tips on this build or whatever. You can just leave any comments below if you have any questions on the build. But yeah, that's gonna be it for the video. Make sure to drop a like if you guys haven't already. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been King Josh and I'm out. Peace.